you so much. Good luck. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? We're in the parade for you, and we didn't even see you. Yeah. Hey, like this big girl? Yeah. I saw you in the beginning. I didn't see you at all. I'm for you. Good night for you, too. I'm going to do both. Patrick, do you let me know where you're going? Thank you. Do you know, like, two of these chesties now? Never mind. Oh, well, okay. You guys, I've got to get there. You know, I've, I've been trying to get Tuesdays. So I told seen a couple of the guys for lunch, but they've been for dinner. Are we getting any indications of how here and has a lot of friends and uh, co-workers within the agricultural industry, you know, to see that Democrats and Republicans can't get together and have something as simple as necessary as a comprehensive farm bill frustrates me. And I'm not optimistic it's going to be fast. When I went in November, I look forward to sitting around the table, taking the ideas I get from farmers here in central Illinois, and put them into action in Washington. Uh, a report came out the other day that said Congress's approval rating is around 10%. Uh, I guess my question, why run? and, and if you do win, um, what are you going to do to change, hopefully, the mindset? Well, what we're going to do is go out and effectively lead and provide some leadership that's necessary in Washington. And when we do, I think people will respond when they start to see decisions being made in much less polarization in politics. And people like me can do that in Washington, given the opportunity in November by the voters of this district. I look forward over the next 83 days to meeting as many as I can, convincing them that I've got the right mindset. And then going to Washington and doing what I say. And uh, you know, I talked to Gil yesterday, and he made it sound like Democrats can get six congressional seats back in Illinois. What are you thinking? What are you thinking optimism-wise for Illinois? You thinking you can keep everything you want? Maybe take on a couple more seats? Well, there was a lot of talk when the redistricting proposal came out that Mike Madigan and John Cullerton and Pat Drew 
and there was a lot of optimism on the Democrat side. They got six seats. I doubt that's going to happen. I think they overreached greatly. When you look at this district that I'm running in, it's a district that is conservative, hardworking, middle class, Midwestern values district, and I think I represent all of those values the most. Thank you very much. You, you too. We'll be doing lots of stories with you in the future. So I got that phone number and everything. So. Excellent. Hey, what's your name? I'm Bob Bean. Huh? Nice to meet you, buddy. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. Bad to fit yourself. It's the bad part. <laughs> you so can't pick. You got to do it. Yeah. You can't pick your cameraman. That's right. That's right. <laughs> cool. Thanks for having me. Good to follow around. Yeah, get a few.